Welcome once again. If you have watched the previous videos of this playlist, then you must be familiar with various HTTP methods and also the GraphQL API. If you have landed directly here, then you can get those links from the description section. Let's now explore the case of GitHub's API. So why GitHub has started GraphQL specifications, let us first understand this. So the first reason for this is REST API wasn't very flexible. It sometimes required to make 2-3 calls to get complete details of a resource and also it was not serving the purpose of returning the data that consumers actually needed. And secondly GitHub has an extremely detailed requirement for its API. So now let's see it together. To use GitHub API, we first need to create a personal access token on GitHub and for this you need to create an account if you don't have uh, for the GitHub or if you already have just log into your account and then go to settings and then go to developer settings and then you need to create a personal access token here from the bottom right so if you don't have any token already created you can click on this generate new token and then you can put the name of the token here and then you can check all the options for simplicity and then click on this button to generate a token for you remember that the token you are seeing here would be visible only once to you so it is better you take a note of it somewhere because next time you will be coming to this page you will not be seeing this token now let us create our first request on api tester so we launch api tester app and create a request by tapping on the plus icon and then select graphql method the endpoint in this case is https api.github.com slash graphql let us name it as get user now we need to put the auth token so we go to settings and under that oauth we need to put the access token now we need to put the query so the query is query and then under that we create a viewer and under that we give login right don't be surprised that how i created this query just refer to the documentation so if we go to the api doc we see this viewer and under that we have login that give us the username now if we run we can see that we have got the username api tester has another feature that we can simply create requests using curl command so what we need to do is we just need to uh, create the request in the similar way like we created earlier but instead of graphql let us select curl and put that curl command here so that is how it will be creating that complete request and if you here explore you see the personal token is there you see the body is there everything is there like we created earlier so now let us say that we want to set some arguments in the graphql request and for that we want to use the username to get the avatar let us update the same request so i am first of all clearing the existing query from the body and for the new query i would refer the doc so we see user here and if i click here we see that it is asking for login as argument and we need to pass the username as argument and then we can fetch any of the properties like avatar url let us write the query now so the query would be inside this query block and inside that we are going to use user so i put user here and in round brackets i mention the argument as login colon and my username is kamal api tester so in this block i just want to fetch the avatar url so i mention it here if you want to use anything else also you can put here like this all right so now we see here we have the token so you see here in the response it returns the url of an image so if i copy this url or if i try to open it on browser you see it returns my avatar which i have on github I hope you find this useful and if you go to apitester.org and check the docs you will find more such API guides. So I leave this rest part for you uh, and keep on exploring and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section. Goodbye and happy learning.